you have my blessing. Mm. After we make the move to Nevada, you can break off from the Corleone family and go on your own. Me and Pete will come under Barzini's thumb sooner or later. And I hate that damn Barzini. <laughs> in six months' time, there won't be nothing left to build on. You have faith in my judgment. This motherfucking seagull. Tom Higgins no longer considered. He's going to be our lawyer in Vegas. That's no reflection on Tom, but that's the way I want. Besides, mm. if I ever need help, who's a better consigliere than my father? Look at Michael making changes. So he became the head of the family. Why? Because he killed those two guys? Thank you, Papa. That motherfucker needs to go. Things may get rough with the move we're trying. Die. There's Seagull! I advise Michael. I never thought you were bad counsel yet. Michael has all my confidence, as, as you do. Mm. Look at Fredo. Hey, 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 wait, hey, hey, leave him out here. We'll deal with them later. He's tired. He wants to clean up. All right now, let me open the door, all right? <laughs> Mike, welcome to Las Vegas. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he got it all set up for him. Your brother, Freddy. It was Jay. Hey, girls here. <laughs> Get rid of them, Fredo. Get rid of the band, too. <laughs> he said, get rid of the band, get rid of the girls. Hey, come on, Ram! <laughs> He's like, get come the on, fuck out. Come on, I don't know, Johnny. Michael ain't there for no dilly dally. He there for business. Sorry. You'd like to ask a favor? Mike, what can I do? The Corleone family is thinking of giving up all... <laughs> oh, my God. The casino and the hotel be completely... I'm sorry, family. my freaking dog. Uh, are you sure about that? I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. See, Johnny. Now, we hope you'll sign a contract to appear five times a year. Sure, Mike. I'll do anything for my godfather. You know that. <laughs> Hello, fellas. Everybody's here. Freddy, Tom, good to see you, Mike. How are you, Mom? Probably your family wants to buy you out. Call the only family wants to buy me out. Mm. No, I buy you out. You don't buy me out. Your casino loses money. Maybe we can do better. You're unlucky. You lousy guineas really make me laugh. I do you a favor and take Freddy in when you're having a bad time, and then you try to push me out. You took Freddy in because the Corleone family bankrolled your casino because the Molinari family on the coast guaranteed his safety. Now, we're talking business. First of all, you're all done. The Coyote family don't even have that kind of muscle anymore. Mm. The Godfather is sick, right? You're getting chased out of New York by Barzini and the other families. I talked to Barzini. I can make a deal with him and still keep my hotel. Is that why you slapped my brother around in public? What? Oh, uh, now, uh, uh, Mo did mean nothing by that. Sure, he flies off the handle once in a while, but, but Mo and me were good friends, right, Mo? Huh? I got a business to run. We had a little argument, Freddie and I, so I had to straighten him out. You straightened my brother out. He was making cocktail waitresses two at a time. I leave for New York tomorrow. Think about a price. Do you know who I am? I'm Mo Green. Oh, I didn't know you. Tom, Tom, you're the conciliary, and you can talk to the Don. <laughs> Not anymore. Don is semi-retired, and Mike is in charge of the family business now. Oh, boy. <laughs> they don't like that shit. Mike, you don't come to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Green like that. Fredo, you're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Mm. Ever. Not that meeting. You'll be assassinated. What? I like to drink wine more than I used to. Your wife and children, are you happy with them? Very happy. That's good. I <laughs> hope you don't mind the way I, I keep going over this Massini business. I spend my life trying not to be careless. <laughs> I told you I can handle it. I'll handle it. He's like, I got this. I got this, Godfather. I knew that Satina was going to have to go through all this. I'm afraid though. Oh. I never wanted this for you. Mm. I work my whole life. I don't apologize to take care of my family. But when I was
was your time that the Jew would be the one to hold the strings. Hmm. Senator Corleone, Governor Corleone. We'll get there. <laughs> no. <laughs> listen, whoever comes to you with this Barzini meeting, he's a traitor. Mm. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he scared him for real. <laughs> Grandpa Corleone. <laughs> That's so cute. He's playing with him. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh shit. What happened? Uh, oh. Oh. Died. Damn. The Godfather's gone. Rosini wants to arrange a meeting. He says we can straighten any of our problems out. You talk to me? Yeah. Oh boy. Meeting time. Did you really have to tell me at a funeral? You couldn't tell me later? I always thought it would have been Tom Menza, not Tess. It's the smart one. Tessia was always smart. After the baptism. I've decided to be Godfather to Connie's baby. Mm. And then I'll be Don Barzini. And Tatania. All the heads of the five families. What's about to happen? I feel like something's about to happen. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Right in the fucking eye! Huh? Mmm! Is he killing like the head of every family? Damn! In broad freaking daylight! All this going on during a baptism. Oh. So did he have every head of the family killed? Is that what just happened? Can't go to Vegas. Something's come up. Everybody's gonna have to leave the house. Oh my God! Come on, please. Come on. Go back to the house. Wait for my call. It's important. Tell Michael it's only business. I always liked him. What did they gonna do to him? Slow ass, what did he do? I'm confused. What did he do? <laughs> this is a movie you gotta watch a few times, huh? So you can really understand what's happening. You have to answer for Santino, Carl. Oh. Mike, you got it all wrong. You think it's sending for the Barzini people? Hmm. You think that could fool the Carleon? My comments. I swear to kids. 
Oh shit. <laughs> you scared now, you fuck? Oh, is dead. So is Philip Tatalia. Mo Green. Strachi. Today I settled all family business, so don't tell me you're innocent. Admit what you did. Mm. Get him a drink. <laughs> Get him a drink. Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? Drink. This motherfucker shook. <laughs> you're out of the family business. That's your punishment. Mm. I'm putting you on a plane to Vegas. Tom? I want you to stay there. Understand? Mm -hmm. Only don't tell me you're innocent. Because it insults my intelligence. <laughs> now who approached you? Tatalia or Barzini? He's buzzing. Mm. Now he really knows. Like if there was any doubt, now he knows. He knows. Now get out of my sight. Right? Fuck off. You killed my brother, you fuck. I'm trying to remember all the characters, so I don't even remember who Bonzini is. Hello, Carla. Mmm. Yup, you're done. Damn. Got vengeance for Sonny. Love it. Papa died so nobody could stop you and then you killed him. No! What am I gonna do? Oh, God. shit. He used to beat your ass, girl! He was awful! Why do you think he get Carlo at the mall? And you stood godfather to our baby. You lousy, cold-hearted bastard. That's your husband! That's your husband! <laughs> mm. She's pissed. Oh, now she's giving him the look. She's a star. A star. <laughs> that goes the truth. Oh. Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? No. <laughs> Ooh, finally saw that temper. He said, don't ask me about my business, child. This one time. This one time, I'll let you ask me about my affairs. Oh. <laughs> you lying. Look at him lying. <laughs> you can ask me. I'll just lie. Look at them kissing his hand. Don Coglione. Mm. <laughs> Shut the door on her. I don't know. You could kind of tell by her face at the end that she was like, um, yeah, I'm with a very powerful man. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, you guys. So that was my reaction to The Godfather excellent movie uh, I feel like it's a movie that you have to watch a few times to really understand everything that's going on understand the characters but let me see so we had Marlon Brando playing the Godfather and he has I mean, he has Fredo Fredo is his son Sonny Michael uh, Tom and he has one daughter so he has five kids okay and basically, uh, Marlon Brando, you know, is the head of the family. He's running the family. I guess I, I, I'm trying to understand. There was a part where he was offered a deal, I guess, to work with this other guy. And I can't remember that character's name. And it involved, it involved narcotics. And you could tell that Marlon Brando didn't want to get mixed up in narcotics, if I'm understanding it right. So he said no to the deal. And then later he was gunned down shot five times and surprisingly marlon brando survived 
uh, we, he was at the hospital. He had people, you know, standing guard for him. But then that captain, who was basically corrupt, corrupted, uh, called off the guards. Uh, Al Pacino's character, Michael, he gets to the hospital to see his father. He sees that all the guards are gone, and he's like, holy shit. So he um, makes it look like there are still people. Well, he makes it, there's a guy that comes to visit his dad, a baker. Enzo, I think his name was, and he wants to um, visit Al Pacino's father, and, he, and uh, Al Pacino makes it look like he's a hitman or a gunman or whatever, and kind of holds off the guys that were coming to finish the job to kill Marlon Brando. That scene was juicy. <laughs> that was a juicy scene, and it was genius, because Al Pacino made it look like him and that dude were there with like a gun, with guns, and they didn't have shit. That motherfucking baker was shook. He was shaking. <sighs> so, after that happens, um, Al Pacino basically talks to Sonny and Tom and the other guys. And he's like, you know, I'll kill, I'll kill the captain. And I'll kill the other guy. And I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. The character's name. But Al Pacino says he'll kill him. He does it. Al Pacino kills those two motherfuckers and you know right there in the restaurant he takes off to Italy for a while because you know it's not safe clearly for him to stick around while in Italy he meets a girl he gets married but I guess because of what Al Pacino had done it comes back to bite him in the ass because trying to get to him they end up killing his wife that he the, the girl that he found in Italy that she ends up getting blown up in a car because of his bullshit and then uh, when he when when Michael's back in you know the city with his family, I guess they decide that he's going to be the head of the family. He's running things, and the minute he starts running things, he makes a lot of changes. He makes a lot of changes. He does have his dad. You know, Marlon Brando's still there. He's still like a advisor. He's still kind of telling Al Pacino the way things are or how things should be run, I guess. But um. Marlon Brando dies too. He He's playing outside with his grandson and he fucking passes out. And I guess, I don't know how he died. Heart attack or something probably. Also, um, Marlon Brando's only daughter, you know, she was married to this motherfucking prick, asshole, abusive dickhead who was just hitting her all the time and Sonny was a hothead. He wasn't having it. Beat his ass and that didn't do shit because he was still hitting her. Come to find out, he had Sonny killed. I thought when Sonny got shot up that it had something to do with that, that bullshit with the dad. But no, it was because of, it was because he beat, what's his name, Carlo? He beat his ass, and he was mad, so he had Sonny killed. And I like the way at the end of the movie, Al Pacino had to talk to him and like just make sure, a hundred percent, that this, that he was the reason that Sonny was dead. He lied to his ass, told him he was going to send him to Vegas. I don't know why he believed that shit. I wouldn't have believed it. I would have been like, yeah, right. You're going to kill me. I killed your brother. There ain't no way I'm walking away from this. But it was a good movie. So much happened. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's one of those movies I feel like I have to watch more than once just to really understand everything that's going on. But it was good. Definitely well executed. Now I see why this is such a fucking classic. And now I got to watch part two. <laughs> I was looking at you guys' comments. You're saying that part three sucks. Should I even react to part three? Or should I just watch it, you know, off screen? I don't know. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share my video. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Godfather, done. Great movie. Excellent movie. I give this a 10. Bye, guys.